In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create this great scene in Apple's Motion using VScope Key. All the media in this tutorial is available online for you to download and try out for yourself. To get the media, visit www.dvdxdv.com key. The first thing you need to do is create a new project in Motion. You'll want to use the custom setting. Use 844 pixels wide by 477 pixels high. Use a bit depth of 32-bit floating point. Use a field order of none. Set the frame rate to 24 frames per second. And set the duration to 2 minutes and 18 frames. Then click OK. Once you've got the new project up, Drag in the media. Start by dragging in the background and center it. Click on the library and bring up the blur folder and select the defocus filter and drag that right on top of the background image. Next, drag in the foreground and center it in motion. Select the library tab and select vscope key. Select the soft light key filter and drag it on top of the image. Bring up the inspector and click the show mask. As you can see, this shows you the part that's transparent and the part that's opaque. The black part is transparent and the white part is opaque. Disable the mask. Disable the soft light keyer. Select the eyedropper and sample the background image. Re-enable the keyer. Click on the show mask. Adjust the subtract gain to 1.74. Adjust the contrast to 1.52. Set the low clamp to zero. Set the post low clamp to zero. Disable the show mask. Enable the dispill and set it to about 5.0. As you can see, it was pretty simple to create this key in VScope Key using the soft light filter. For more information and to be able to download the media, please visit the website at www dvdxdv.com slash key